we're going to make a YouTube short and we're going to use Canva. And what led me to do this, usually when I make shorts, you can just grab your phone, make the shorts, you know, bring it together, um, use your editing tool. It's pretty simple. Well, in this case, I'm going to take you to my editing tool. It's called Camtasia. I was outside one day. And I was driving into our driveway, and you can see here in the picture, um, this is one of the short videos. I've got them all listed down here at the bottom. And I'm coming in the driveway. We were out in town, and all of a sudden, a gust of wind hits, and all these different leaves just started fluttering all over the place. It was gorgeous. So I jump out of the car. I have my camera. I'm ready to take pictures, and this is what I get. All the leaves just stopped. And so I kept on taking video and I'm just going to very quickly show you a little bit. Um, we'll go through, but you can see going down the driveway and then I stopped and got some video of the trees and you can see a couple leaves falling, but I'm, I'm telling you, it was like rain falling. It was so gorgeous. This video does not do my driveway justice. It's just gorgeous out there. Here's a little um, bridge that we go over a creek. And so I thought, well, this would make a really cool short. And there's some more leaves there in the, in the drive. You can get an idea of the colors. And then here's um, more, which this one I don't like too much. But anyway, um, I wanted to do the video, but just doing this with some music, I don't think it's going to do it any justice. What I wanted was some little leaves fluttering down as I played some music. So I thought, well, let me try to use Canva. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm actually using Canva to make a short video for the very first time, but I'm going to take you through it. And we'll see how easy it is because I love Canva and it does so many things. Um, I don't think a lot of people use it enough because they think it's complicated or maybe you just don't get around to it. But let's make a video and see how it comes out. Go over to www.canva.com and I, you may need a pro account to do this. I'm not sure. I do have a pro account. If you don't have a pro account, you can hit the link below. There's um, other or others. That are, they'll give you a 30 day free trial with pro just so you can get in there and look at it. That's what I did. And I'm never going back. It's about $16 a month. It's not that high and you will definitely get the value for your money. So what you want to do first is go over here and create a design. Now I'm going to type in YouTube and see what pops up. Now, right here, it says shorts. Be careful because if you write YouTube short video, that is not the same thing as a YouTube shorts. So make sure you type in YouTube shorts. If you say short video, then there it is. See YouTube short video, video short. That means you're just going to get a short video. <laughs> so you want YouTube shorts. And what that does, it creates the more of the vertical video as well. If you'll know when you get in there, if it's horizontal and wide, then you hit the wrong button. I did go through my videos. You can see them over here on the side, the left side. Um, they're on my desktop and I went through them in my editing tool to see which ones I wanted and what order that I wanted them in. And so the first one I want is this 77. So I'm going to just drop it right here in the first frame or page. It says page one. See? Okay. And then um, I'm going to make four. I'm going to bring four videos in. So each time you want to hit a screen or a section, uh, you just hit it. Now this says 13 seconds. I can go in and delete and make it shorter. Obviously I need this in less than 60 seconds. Um, so we're going to, the second one will be number 78 and that's this one here. And notice I'm just dropping them in, in order. And then the third one, I don't know if I want those changed as I'm looking. Let's go back over here and I'm going to hit that. I'm going to, I'm just looking now before I add any more, like which one do I want first? And I can cut these shorter. Like I said, that they don't have to go on for 13 seconds and 19 seconds. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. So we're going to pause that and I'm going to move the bar over. And number three was video 81. I've got that right here. And then the last one is video 79. 
And then the fourth one that I want to put in, I'll go ahead and slide that over into the fourth slot. So we'll wait for those to download. So what I've noticed is there's 13 seconds, there's nine seconds, there's 26 seconds and 10 seconds. So I'm going to get off of here um, on the video. And what I'm doing behind the scenes is I'm going to cut it down to like maybe 55 ish. See back here, I can see very clearly on the path. It looks like these first three or four are the same. And these over here, um, are the same. So I might cut them down and maybe to one or two and I'll do it gradually throughout just to get the whole thing down to 55. So you're going to have to do a little bit of math, go in and, and take out some of those frames. And one of the things you're probably asking is when I take out a frame, how do I know how much time it is? So that's why I pop back in here. Um, I was looking at this first frame and if you go up here to the top right hand side, it says one minute and 10 seconds. So that's going to help you decide, um, how long that frame is and then and to get it in in a shorter time. Once you decide about how much time you want of each one of those four segments, then you can go in and cut them. So my first segment here, I'm going to put it back where it was. My first segment is 13.9 seconds and about right here, it changes. See that? So right there, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to split it out. So in the beginning here, this part, I've got more of the path. And the second part, the second six uh, seconds, I've got the path with leaves on it. It's not as, um, it's, it's heavier, if that makes sense. So I don't want 13 seconds of just the path. I'm going to bring it down to about 15 seconds. So I have four sections. I'm going to go 15 to 20 seconds on each one. Um, not each, <laughs> roughly 15. Um, that's 15 times four is 60. So roughly 15 seconds on each one. And then that way it'll bring the video down to 60. A second way that you can cut it shorter, as you can see on my first video part here at 7.9 seconds, I'm gonna bring it down to seven seconds, okay? So I, all I have to do is take grab the right side and bring it in. And as you can see, it's going down to 7.4, 7, right there, 6.9 will just stop right there. So that's a second way that you can do it. But what's nice about that, if, if you're just cutting something off that's a lot the same, like I took a picture of the, the path, I don't need the whole thing, but I do want to look at it. Are there certain parts I want to keep? Did it change a little bit? This video is kind of easy because it's all pretty consistent. Each one of my clips, I just went and got trees or I got the path or I got the creek. So it's easier for me to cut it out. So if you've got a lot going on, you're going to have to probably take more time uh, to cut. Okay, I got the video the way I want it, and I want you to see, um, just real quick, I'll let it run as I'm talking, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. But basically, um, it's 58.8 seconds, so it's less than 60 seconds the way I want it. And what I envision is um, leaves falling, and I want to do an overlay. Now, I've never done any of this, so I'm letting you see. As I'm doing it, I am Googling, like, how do I do this? And it is so easy. Um, so I'm putting it all together for you so you don't have to take time to do that. So our next step is I'm going to go into the elements. I'm going to make an overlay, and I want movement. Basically, I want some colorful leaves to be falling and some really nice little music that's you know makes you think of fall and it's it's raining leaves All right so what you're going to do is go into elements and what i'm looking for is autumn leaves falling I, I played around a little bit to find what exactly what i want but i want autumn leaves and i did try this one right here and see what it did and it's okay but it's going sideways i don't yeah i can i can make it flip see I can make them fall down and i can stretch the the whole thing there like that. So they are falling. Um, I don't know. I, I might use that. It's not exactly what I'm looking for, but let me try some other things. Okay. So we're going to go back and what I'm going to do is scroll down and there's, um, I might go in and type video just to see if that does something different. Video autumn leaves falling. And some of these, the reason I wanted you to see me searching is some of these are not pro. So see where there's a little icon, a little pro thing at the bottom here with the little crown? That's pro. But this one here is free. So you can use these elements with a free account. That looks like the only one that's a, oh, here's some more videos over here. There, I didn't, that's what I should have done. 
And now, oh, these are, that's why I didn't like these. These are like videos and I don't want that. I want an overlay. I want more of a graphic overlay like this. All right, and so far that's the one that's winning, but let me see if I can find anything else. One more search before I decide on this one. I made it smaller, which I think I could do two or three overlays. So the leaves are smaller and they kind of coincide with the picture. See that? But I'm going to have to um, make copies of that. I think you and I can see it where it's broken up because I'm telling you what I did. But I think once you play music and it's going through in 60 seconds, I think it'll, it'll kind of um, look more natural. And again, you can see that it's an overlay. But that's how I got that. Now what I want to look for is like back here on the path. Let me go back, bring that back here on the path. Um, I wanted to start out with just these leaves here, um, nothing falling. But then when I hit the second segment here, I want to have maybe a couple of leaves falling. So I'm going to look for a single leaf. And then I think in the end, when I get to the brook, I want just one single leaf falling and coming into the, into the little creek. So let's look for one leaf falling. You can go over here to apps and it'll say right here, generate realistic images using AI. That's what I was looking for earlier and it happened to be more of a text thing. So I'm gonna tell it what I need and then it's hopefully gonna give me one leaf. I cannot find one. So I want one autumn leaf falling with trans parent background. See what happens. Make sure you hit the generate button down here. And this is what we got. And I even went back in and put video. So you're going to get static pictures when you use the AI. Ugh. All right. One more thing I did before we add music, I went in and I took one of these little videos. Remember how they were kind of like four or five and you can almost see the squares. You can still almost see them, but I had to go smaller to get the smaller leaves. I looked all over. I couldn't see how I could resize them. So then I went in and I picked one of them and I went up here. Let me show you. I went into crop and I made it a 16 by nine. And then that one that I cropped, I put as an overlay on top of the others. And it kind of takes your eye away from those lines. You can see them because you watched me build it. But you, you see how I have the four squares behind and then the bigger one in front. But at least it gives the eye real quick um, more of a feeling of lots of leaves falling. That's the best I can do, guys. Um, I'm sure there's... Um, other things in here, but I, I cannot find, I try to find one leaf falling and I keep windy leaves, everything. And I keep getting the same one. Um, I went into pexels to look, but I can't find a transparent background. So this will do. On my last page, I just went in and put a couple small leaves. Um, I'm going to turn that one a little bit. Um, so they're in the water. I cannot find them falling. I cannot, I don't know how to make these fall. Any motion. Um, if I animate, I can pan them and make them pop. Maybe we'll try to tumble it. I think that just makes it pop in like that. On the enter, yeah, that, that would work. We can do that. Make them just kind of pop in. At least it gives it some motion. All right, let's go back. Play it and see what it does. All right, they're already in. So let's bring this back over here. And you've got the water moving. So they'll pop in and you've got the water. So anyway, now we're going to add the music. And all you have to do to add music is find the music you want from YouTube. That's where I'm getting mine. They do have music on here, but I'm using the YouTube um, music. And then you just upload it and you're going to add it. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Real quick, if you didn't know where to find your music, you're going to go into your YouTube studio. And right here on the left, it says uh, uh, Creator Music. And when you open it, I always do the free. Um, if you know music and you know which tunes are catchy, then by all means, use them and pay for them. Um, but I just go in and try to go with the mood. Um, but anyway, I found one here. And I'm going to download it. And then I'm going to show you how to upload it to the video. So I took the download, put it onto my desktop, and now I'm just going to pick it up and drag it and drop it into Drop Your Files right here where it says Upload. 
and it's going under the audio file. There's an image file, a video file, audio. All you have to do is drag it over from your desktop. Now we don't need all of this. It's three minutes long. So once I upload it, I'm going to have to cut the end of the music off. So let's just drag it over and see what happens. It says to add music, drag it into the timeline. So let's see what happens. Okay, here it is at the bottom, I think. And then I'm just going to go over. Look at this. So the music, oop, and it stops for you. That was easy. All right, let's play it and see what happens real quick. Okay, one of the things, I put the music on, and I noticed right here where the leaves are falling, there was this loud music that was more intense. So what I did, I wanted that to play during that segment. So I made two copies of the video, and I made the smoother beginning sound. I copied that, just upload it again and cut it is all that I did. Look at this. You can just upload it again and make it as long or as short as you want. So you can play with where you want the music as well. Um, let me go ahead and play it and you can see it and then we are done. Um, I then, we're done here. I then, I'm going to um, upload it onto my desktop, put it into my Camtasia and then put it on YouTube. Um, the only way that you can go directly to YouTube from here is if you upload or connect your editing software. I'm just going to download it to my desktop, then pull it into my editing software, which I have Camtasia. And then I'm going to load it like I usually do. So if you already have software you're loading from YouTube, you know how to do it. Use yours. You do you, right? But let's watch it and then we're done. Thank you for watching. Of course, the perfect video would have been me getting the actual leaves falling, but I went out there three times and I could not get them. And it's like every time I came out, they'd go, stop, she's here. And it was just so gorgeous. But hopefully that kind of makes up for it. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, God bless you. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.